And in Hebrews 4, Ty, you were correct. Because I showed and get to none of what I thought I was going to talk about. All right, so Hebrews 4, starting with verse 4. I know I'm going a little fast. I want to at least give you these scriptures before I close out. But look at this. For he, Hebrews 4, 4. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. See, this is a place of rest. It's just not about labor and working and wearing yourself out. Like your entire life hustling, that ain't, that's not what God wants. God didn't send his son to die so we could just labor and hustle. We can run from the ideas and the visions and the, the, the businesses and, the, and the, the, the opportunities that he's given us. God wants, there's a place of rest in him. Your confidence is in your work. Your confidence is in your work when it should be in God's rest. And so you have to ask yourself, do you really have faith in God? Are you at that place? And see, when you get into that place, see, some people are just happy that they've got to, to the place. But can you stay in place? You think the adversary gives up because you get into place? Yeah, you get into, you find the right person. You think the adversary go, Psh, right? lost one, lost one the covenant. Let's move on. No, 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 it ain't, no. Now he's working to pull you out of place. Because sometimes you'd be like, I don't understand. Why are we having a misunderstanding? We're married now. <laughs> should, be, should be no misunderstandings. Happy ever after. Isn't that how the, the cartoon went? No, 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 no. You have to, it's one thing to obtain. It's another thing to maintain. And it's definitely a great thing to reproduce. And so realize, obtain, some people, they're just working to even obtain, to get to the place. But it ain't over there. How many people have gotten place and lost it? How many people have gotten to, to their dreams and fallen? <laughs> Was that an amen? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, it's more to it than getting to the place. Right? Amen. Right? Amen. Is that an amen? God can't hear you. Okay, all right, just, just making sure you're with me. All right, in, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. It's like uh, I was watching the video that, that I posted on the, the missing ingredient, and uh, Z was, we, we use Z to say, uh, it goes to be all in. So, look, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Some of your heart? The, the, the part that you're willing to trust the Lord with. Or all. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. He'll, he'll, he'll guide you into place. That place of rest. Amen. It's time to rest, man. Amen. And I find this as we were driving, you know, I had a lot of reflection time, especially when my wife was asleep. Uh, <laughs> As we was driving, I, I, you know, I really, you know, I, I'm a dreamer, so I dream all the time, you know, so it, it keeps me going. And I was just really reflecting on, on just a place of rest, like not being in competition, not being competitiveness. You know, I was telling the guy I was talking to last night, uh, we was talking about my family, and he mentioned one of my family members. He says, the person I met at the church was a different person at the house. I said, the person you met at the church is who that person is. You know, we come around, you all up under her. Yeah, because that's my girl. I love her. As opposed to, no, nah, no, nah, she, she's sweating me. She's sweating me. I'm the man. I'm the, no, no, I do love her. So it might not be cool. But see, I'm not trying. There's no competition. I'm not trying to prove nothing to nobody. I actually love my wife. So I'm going to hide that? For what? To get props from who? Amen. 
Because God is excited when I share how much I adore my wife. Because he wants her to be adored and he sent me to do it. So I'm just trying to please God. I, I, I'm not such and such. Church is doing such and such. It's probably a great thing that they're doing. I learn from them, but I don't feel pressure like, okay, like, like we just went down uh, to Fort Myers. We saw some different things. We saw some humongous churches, right? So we come back, okay, what we need to do is look for some property. <laughs> need to build, 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 build. We got to build, got to build, got to build, you know. You know, you know, you see baseball diamond out over here. I mean, all that stuff is in the vision, but not today. So, so I'm, we're resting. Because we're not trying to keep up with everybody. Now, some of y'all are trying to make it hard for us to rest. Why don't we do such and such? Because that's not what God said. <laughs> but that happens in the household, right? Or, or with the team. You know, the team is going in one vision. Then, then they talk to somebody who's playing for another team. Well, they run in the flex offense. That's nice. It's probably working for them. We don't have a flex offense team. Why well, flex work for me? Well, then maybe flex on over there. But right now, <laughs> this is not what we're doing. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Like, can we rest? Amen. Such and such takes his wife out three times a week. Such and such don't work. <laughs> he washes the car every day. Yes, because he don't have a job. <laughs> Why are we trying to keep up with them? Thank the Lord. <laughs> a dude never leave the house. He, he don't go nowhere. He ain't nothing else to do but cut the grass and wash the car. <laughs> he bought her chocolates. Yeah, he bought her chocolates because he messed around with her and he wanted to buy it. I'm not saying not, buy chocolates, not just for that. Well, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all might take that the wrong way. I ain't buying no chocolates. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> that wasn't the point. That wasn't the point. That wasn't the point. What I'm saying is, why are we. Okay, you, you had to. I'm, I got to end here because I can't spend the whole day talking about this, but you had to. Uh, the guy that owned the vineyard. So what he does is he says, I need people to work my vineyard. So he says, hey, would you work my vineyard? So you negotiate, you're a negotiator, so you negotiate a deal. So let's say you negotiate a deal for $50 an hour, mm -hmm. and you're gonna work eight hours. Yeah. And I agree, this is what I'm gonna pay you. Mm -hmm. All right, negotiate the same deal. You know, you try, well, you're paying him 50, I want 50. Pastor Mel over here, she see y'all getting 50, well, 50, I mean, based on my experience, she's trying to, so she get 55. All y'all got 55, eight hours. But I recognize it's just not, you know, some hours go by, we need some more help. So we're, you know, it's like maybe six, five hours left in the day. So talk to Devin, talk to Devin and says, uh, man, I need you to work. All right, but right now, I don't know what my budget's gonna be, but I promise you, I'll take care of you. He's a discerner, trust my heart, you take the job. You agree that I'll do the job and I'll trust, now I'm just happy to have a job, so I'll trust that you'll give me what I deserve. You come in on his plan. But I recognize we still don't have enough people. So, Minister John Renee, it's about an hour left. I see you sitting around, you ain't got no job. So I go, dude, why are you just sitting out here? I said, tell you what, got an hour left to work, I'll just pay you. I don't know what I'll pay you yet, but I'll pay you. I right, so out of the eight hours, it's $400, it's $400 right? Is that right? 400 right? I'm supposed to be a math guy. This is, why am I guessing, right? <laughs> right? All right, so, and you get 400 right? Mm -hmm. You get 440 right? Right, take, take, no, I, I, take my word on no, that. <laughs> right? So you get 440. So, I guess that's me. No. All right, so, so Devin and Ty, they come in to get their, their, their salary. I give them 440. Minister John Rene, I give him 440. You guys are hot. Why? Because they said they'll do it even though why the, the matter. But that's not why y'all mad, though. Because we negotiated. Right. Uh, uh, no, to they work eight hours. hours. They, yeah, they got we paid more. hours than them. Yeah. They got paid the same amount. Y'all work more hours, they got the same amount. Right. Okay, but did y'all get what y'all negotiated for? 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you upset? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why are you upset? Because I could have got more. What did you just say? <laughs> because what? Oh, come on. Can't say it. You looking at somebody else instead of yourself. All right. That's it. So if you wasn't looking and comparing yourself to anybody else, you happy. You, you're at peace. The only reason you're upset is you're comparing yourself to what somebody else got. You got what you deserved. You even got what you wanted. What they get doesn't take away from what you got. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, it has nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. And it's my property. I can pay whatever I want to pay. As long as I do you right and what you require. Amen. Right? You see what I'm saying? Like, you should be at rest. We should be at peace. Stop looking to the left. Stop looking to the right. Stop getting in comparison because it'll pull you out of place. Y'all got mad and left the, left the job. Still looking for work. <laughs> y'all not looking for work. I ain't speak that over y'all. But <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But you had a job that you was paying you well. But you couldn't stay in place. I can't believe they're going to pay them that. You know, they just got here. I've been here all this time. Are you getting what you deserve? Yes. See, you, 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 you're getting poor. I think you should be doing. Man, people tell me all types of stuff. I think you should start your own church. I mean, five years in the ministry, six years in the ministry, seven years in the ministry, 10 years ministry. You know, the whole 18 years, somebody's always talking to me about what I should be doing. I can't do what everybody think I should be doing. I got to do what God tells me. Amen. So I had to change the topic. I started talking about, yeah, hey, you see the Cowboys play? That was a great game. You know, I just changed because I couldn't be focusing on all that and still be obedient to what God told me to do. That's good. That's good. Can you do that? That's real good. Can you deflect anything that's going to tempt you to be pulled out of place? Because you're following the peace before you get all the extra information. Before you get the other considerations and the comparisons. Before you get the fad and the flavor. You made the first decision to be married following the peace of God. So what's all the other stuff? Circumstances, smoke and mirrors. You made a decision to, to, to go to that place because of God. So what's all the other stuff? That's feeling. Circumstances, that shine looks good. Grass, you know, nobody said grass green on the other side. Just cross the other street and you'll find out. <laughs> no, I mean, do it today. Look to the other side, look at the nicest lawn you see, go across the street and look right up on that lawn. You're like, whoa, don't look like this from over there. Because you're looking at it from an angle. You have a point of view, an angle of a view, but you don't have the actual view. That's why, the, no, no, literally, because, you know, I used to be out at our house cutting grass. I'd be like, man, how come my grass is not that green? And then I was, I was walking or taking a walk, and I end up on the other side of the street. I was like, wow, this grass looks worse than, worse than mine. <laughs> Don't let nothing pull you out of place. Stay locked in. Try it. Most people have never experienced fulfilling things. They've never got what they want because they, uh, they go, go too fast. They're just jumping, just jumping around, you know, based on feeling. Can we return, can we leave microwave and return to home cooking? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we? Amen, yes. I mean, cooking all the nutrients out of the stuff. Beep, 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 beep. I mean, just, just no, no, just, just totally. I mean, just killing the food, but you got it quicker. Can we just try it? Patience. Through patience, you possess your soul. Luke 21, 19. You have need of patience. After you've done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Because that pers- patience helps you to be ready for the promise. Can we try it? Just, just try it. Something. Try it on something small. Just, I'm going to wait and be patient.